some trouble. But what he's doing right now with pneumatized carapace, oh, there speedlings, I like it a lot. Stargate number three. I was like, when I saw Stargate two, I was like, there is always a Stargate three with this. Now, I think this might be the build I talked about earlier with a lot of oracles. But has he didn't start anything else than uh, the initial few target units that he made. That was the one Void Ray and then the two Oracles. So we'll have to wait and see. He might be waiting to have enough gas to start three at once. Because mm. he, he would hide most of them for a long time anyway. Yeah. Then try and attack the fourth or something like that. Yep. There's a third target Oracle four. we made. All right, man. You think he's going to take to the skies? I think so. I think so too. Ward, once you reach a certain amount of uh, oracles, which is going to reach very quickly in this game with his four targets, so... Oh my god. And then you can go into, if you want, into carriers. But usually from Haz, you'll see something crazy like 30 plus oracles, which is uh, absolute insanity. This is not what David Kim, David Kim intended for these things. Oracles is like, it'll be a great harass unit, but Haz had other intentions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Elezer has not played a whole lot against this style, right? No. So, for him to react properly to it? Like, what is he supposed to do? Can a turtle? Oh Here we God. go. The oracles are gonna fly into the natural base there, and there just isn't enough. He's just the one spore. The queens die instantly. And Elazer is gonna be taking a ton of damage. <laughs> what if he's just gonna die? <laughs> this is the this is the big brother build of harass. The oracle's like, wow, beautiful micro. Now it's just like, lasers! <laughs> Shoot everything! Uh, yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Hydra's gonna come out here. So many drones have already died, though. He's running out of energy. Might be a good time to pull yeah. back now. They gotta retreat for now. And they, they just like look over their shoulder and say, We'll be back when we charge our batteries! <laughs> Doesn't it get to a certain point where there's just too many Hydras, though, and the, the Oracles just lose? You would think that. But watch this. So are they jumping on top of Watch this. <laughs> Lasers. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Looks he actually trades. Like, yeah, yeah, it was actually pretty bad. He laser holds. There you go, Todd. Uh, I do believe there is a critical mass of Hydras, though. It, it does hit a certain point where Oracles actually are going to fall off really hard. Maybe not even just the Oracles, but or, or the Hydras, excuse me, but the upgrades. We got plus two attack about to finish. Some Banelings, some Hydra yeah. Speed. He's going to jump on this base. That's the thing. Oracles have so much mobility. that He, he can just run away from the main army of Elazer yeah. and laser him down where he's not. He could. 16 more drones do die, and carriers are going to come out. So this becomes a delay tactic, and Elazer's aware of that. He's moving across the map. The drones did die, but the army did not. And behind this, Todd talked about it. There's cannons, there's photon overcharge, and he's heading more. more. Yeah. I feel like I'm watching a replay of Warcraft 3. All right, let's see if Bailings can he's going uh, for it. put its work against this here. Carriers still on the way. Just two pylons here powering all of this. Oh, I mean, look how fast they die. Yeah, against upgraded units, they do die fast, but there Ooh. were still overcharges here to help with this. I don't, I'm getting worried here a bit. The carriers coming out are going to be a, a, a saving grace. Cannons themselves against upgraded hydras don't do very well, especially the banelings. And here we go. He's going to push forward again. The carrier getting a little bit too far forward. Just a few interceptors. They die almost immediately. There's no pylons for the photon overcharge. Hydra army is starting to dwindle a little bit, though. Look at the supply. They're plummeting a little bit. Here come the oracles. They're going to try to oh, fight for the flank. It's too much. He triggered these oracles very, very late here. It's not Hydra too is. much. Are gonna keep on coming in there, and there's still a lot of them left over. All interceptors have died, so has he needs to evacuate this base. He's still quite a bit ahead in supply. If he holds this, he's gonna be in a great position. Well, it's a tough hold so far. He's losing the base right now. The cans are all gone. The hydra are there. Supply still in favor has a little bit. There's some cannons back here, oddly enough, as well. A stasis work gets picked off before going down. Carrot comes out to a harsh new world. The hydra's getting on top of the stargates. He's gonna pull the probes. He needs to hold this, Todd. It's his whole life here in the tournament. A hey, laser, this is also a very important Whoa. attack. He needed to do this much damage. He's going to wow. kill a lot of more probes, but the carriers, I think, are going to be left over. And from there, Hash should have enough economy here to retake that base. And I mean, this is Abyssal Reef, right? Like, they just both yeah. take five bases eventually if Hash can hold this, which he should be able to here from there. And plus two is about to finish. probes have died. He had 91 before they started dying. A hey, laser's going into this, and the supply has tipped in favor of Has. In a weird world, does he just lose a base but win the game because it just wasn't enough to then push out with the army? So here he goes. He's coming out. Hey, it's very important to have these oracles. I mean, he didn't go for a robo. Usually you'd want a robo yeah. and an observer in case there is a couple burrowed infestors that go for neural parasites. And why the wouldn't army. they be burrowed, right? And mothership in particular. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why wouldn't they? They can do everything they can above ground, below ground. Here's that counterattack we are talking about. It's going to show up here. There's a few cannons, but for the most part, this is a troublesome thing. Has is going to go for it, though. He's fighting the army, and there's the Spore Crawlers. Hydra's behind it, but there's so many Interceptors. 
The Infestors do get their upgrades. They're here. There's no detection just yet. They grab the mothership. Can they grab more than oh, that? The bungles use on top. There was time to use Revelation here from Haz. These carriers are going to be mind controlled. Uh-oh. But was it enough? They're doing a little bit of damage to each other. He just can't see the, the Infestors. But unfortunately, uh, mind control is nice. But if you don't have any backup for it, it's just kind of uh, not that great, actually. Yeah. He's there like, was not enough neural. I think, he, I mean, after he got the carriers, he should have targeted the mothership maybe. Then he would have been able to see the entire army, but there were not enough infestors anyway. And it looks like Haz is just going to completely steamroll this army. And from there, yeah. Elazer, I find the double spire very ambitious, by the way. He had like 150 gas left over after that started. Ambitious. How rich do you think yeah. you are? <laughs> it's the Castro language for it. That was dumb. Uh, but this army is just too big. It's just absolutely too big. It's going to steamroll through here, as Todd said. I do like what Elazer's doing. He's burrowing, trying to preserve his units. He still does have yeah. all those uh, infestors, and there are no observers out here. So if the Oracles can lose energy or not be a part of the fight, some weird stuff can happen. Oh, he's just going to oh recall back. He's going to play it safe. Can Great we take a look position. at uh, Elazer's vision quickly? I just love it watching this. He sees a blur chasing him. Yeah. And he dies. And foremost, it's not DT. It's the Predator, man. <laughs> it's got that predator vision. Get that mud on you. <laughs> Get you the chopper. But there is no chopper. There's only more death. <laughs> and instead of the predator, it's like a bunch of spaceships with uh, littler spaceships just shooting them everywhere, followed by a biodome. Like, can there you imagine go. the mothership? What it's is like that? Like a great script for a movie. StarCraft Two coming to theaters. It's like a Protoss zit flying in the air. It's death, man. It's gonna be tough. Moving towards what Elazer has left. And he's made a bunch of spore cars, but we just, at this point in time. Oh, the Revelation? Like, does he use Revelation? He yes, he gets it. all the investors this time. And that's going to be it here, I think, for Elazer, who's going to lose everything after these neural pairs that ends. Even though he's trying to well, put up a half fight. the right army now. is Zerg right now. Yeah, I don't think the carriers are dying fast enough for this to no. somehow work. Look at the supply control. Yeah. G G has is on the board. A little bit too much. Thank you. I don't. I don't know. Pro I don't trust it. I don't trust control. it. That's not a misplaced pylon, y'all. It's gonna get weird. Todd, call it. What is it before this gets going? I, I think he's gonna get a gateway there so that he can fast swap in and then. Okay. Uh, Target units in this case, like he's getting phoenixes into adepts. I think he builds a bunch of gateways there. Yeah. 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 But then it's again, not... I mean, charge is so cheap nowadays that why you don't not have to go for that? Yeah. But then he's still mining gas. I actually he stopped making a What an units. experience it is to just watch this and just kind of guess. Hey, it's just the one. Oh, Phoenix. and it gets scouted. He sees it. Two gateways canceled. And there's the Dark Shrine built back at home. Instantly. He knew. He had a uh, he had a plan B. He has a plan C. <laughs> well he had to flip <laughs> over a couple pages. Like, gosh darn it. On to page 103, section 7. Jeopardy if a laser scout says he's gonna poke and prod at the front, see that nothing is much to do there. Wow. Well, there's three pylons, I guess. To be fair, he never the, would have gotten Has that. started two more Stargates just now. Yeah. The Overlord was going to fly above them. He canceled them before the Overlord saw them. So now we're at plan D. Uh, Dark Shrine gets scouted. We're at E. No, that was the plan D. So that would, anyway, we're way past. Like, yeah, that's oh, my saying. God. Lynx actually get in. Yeah, they weren't even invited. Has is falling apart here a little bit. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> He's falling apart a lot. Uh, and yeah, some, some probes are going to go down here. Mothership Core was all the way at the third, but it kind of has to stay there because if it pulls off of that, then the third is suspect. Ultimately, these lings will be cleaned up, but they're doing some damage. And, and he now there's like three more gateways. Sorry, it's rather, excuse me. Three more targets on the, his third base. Why not? There's another beautiful wall in paper, Dude. but just the way this is setting up, Kaz is, is, is about as dead as you can get. To come back from this would be amazing. He's going to go back to the weird Oracle stuff which does play to his favor a little bit, Todd, but he is so far behind against such a well-prepared laser yeah. that I can't see it. Figures he just has to use them here to, to defend. Very smart not queuing up all of them, but oh, wow, he's actually going to kind of bleed in. That's just half the Oracles. A critical mistake here. He's down one, two. That could have been it. And laser's going to push forward. He's not on creep. He's getting on top of the cans. They're all canceled. The fourth base probably not going to come today here. It's gone. And this Hydra Force is not super amazing, but it got a very fortuitous attack. He's going for the drop. Wow, Elazer looking to try and drop the main I, base. I think he weird. knows that if he gets where there is no photon overcharge, he's just going to be Hydralist uh, against these oracles. But it's like, by it's like eight Hydras, Todd. This is a really weird call. 
Well, he's going to get the Modo Shippora, at least with this. And then he can rally the new units towards I the third base. don't like this at all. I can pick up, actually. There's no anti All right. It gets a little bit cuter, I guess. There is one Phoenix out on the map. That's the single anti-air here. Can he just warp in a DT in there and stop that drop in the main? Is, uh, is a laser working as hard as he can to try and make this look interesting? I can't... Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's, he can pick he up. He has right? one gate, doesn't he? Yeah, but he can pick up every time. Where's that one Phoenix when you need him? That guy's he's resting. Oh, he's lazy. Ugh. Scouting a base that no one's taken. Well, Haz is on three bases and really only kind of three bases. His main base is in a lot of trouble. The Oracle Force did kill a ton of Hydras. But ultimately, a laser's still up in quite a bit of ways. Oh, the Phoenix is coming. Get your your time of tomfoolery is coming to an end. <laughs> Set my lasers to slightly lethal. Ugh. Watch them pick it off. Pick it <laughs> off. That'd be so <laughs> funny. <laughs> They're gonna, oh, oh, do he's it. Not targeting. No, save the overlord. He's going to die. Oh, yes. my God. Literally. That's all the anti air. Okay. Well, I'm entertained. <laughs> that was <laughs> it. It doesn't, be. doesn't really matter. Oh. Oracles are going to have to fly back. No pickup this what? time. Oh, there was one. The Overlord's like, don't yeah, come up here I mean, with your lasers. Yeah, the laser's going to attack the third base here momentarily with a ton of Hydra. It's going to point. Todd, you're focusing on all the wrong things. That single Hydra dying right there was the most important thing. Can't believe you're talking about the third base in a game like this. Uh, a laser's at 180 supply, army at 111. Todd, did we hit critical mass? Can that beat the Oracles? I actually don't know. Does that beat it? Tell me. You're going to wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're right, Tom. I'm still not sure. Why is there drones? Oh, man. That was impressive. But ultimately, Haz is just digging out water in his sinking ship, and we're going to do, we're gonna do oh this again. If I didn't know better, I'd say like two AI on Insane are facing each other. Well, makes for a great game. Good job on the computer. And that one Hydra. What, what is up. this like? What is this scene? One Hydra disk and one Ling attacking a Nexus. I, it's beautiful. This is the last that. time I saw this, it was like rehearsals and AIs were facing yeah. another. But that, that's the kind of game that has provokes. Like these are great players, but has he just has such a funky style that so many of his games, so many of his series are gonna become scrappy, and they are gonna be actions that we don't ever see armies that we don't usually see facing one another. In this case, it's mono battle, oracles against idolists. Yeah, it's coming to an end though, Todd. This. This has been fun. Has he put up a fight, but a laser is the more equipped player. The, the fourth base attempt has been shut down. The Hydras are amassing. They're right outside where the Stargates are. They'll at least kill the Stargates. The Oracles are going to show up and try to stop this. Here's going to be the big fight. They jump on top of the Hydras, but they've been weathered down to a account that just cannot do it. And maybe they hold off the front end of this, but there's too much Zert coming. And Has has been eliminated. A laser with I don't know what that was.